Hi, welcome to the Psycho 10 Basic Tutorial Training. Today in this video, we will continue to working with the best or the item in the Psycho CMS, and then we will adding more content into the Psycho item or best. Okay, so now let's get started. Open the browser and then access into the Psycho system. In the launch path, you click on the content editor in content editing area. It will navigate you to the content tree. By default, after you install the Psycho 10.1 on your local PC, you have only the home page item here. Basically here, I will go ahead to create a new item inside the home page. And here I select the home page item and then right click on it. I see the insert in the contact menu, select this one. By default, I have the simple item template, or even you can click on the insert from template, click on this one. And then if you already define some of the templates in the system show, you can navigate into the folder and then select the right template for social here. And because for now we have the new install the Psycho 10 instant on this PC. So we don't, we don't have any new template here. That means I will select the simple template, simple item. And then I will provide the name here. I will keep this one is simple item. Okay. And you see here, after that, we have the simple item has been created. Yeah, you see a warning message. If you publish now, the selected version will not be visible on the website because it is not in the final workflow step. Yeah, and here, and select the navigating here and scroll and go to the workflow. Yeah, and you see here, by default, after you create this item, show it will be in the steady draft mode. Yeah, of the workflow. Yeah, okay. Go to the top and open the data. Yeah. So here, basically, is for the simple item, we have the two few. The first one is title, and the second one is the text. Yeah. Here, this is for simple item testing by CMDX. Yeah. And the below for the text. Okay. For the text, let me go ahead to copy some text on line. I will have program if some. Yeah. Go to this one. And I will copy something here because I don't want to tie some the dummy data into the content. Yeah. So for the text, you know, because this one is allow the content author to input some the text in the editor. So I can click on the show editor. It will open up a, an editor, retake editor. What you see is what you get here for you. Right click on this and then, and then I will put this one at a plain text because I don't want to copy the format from this website and give it into my website. Yeah, you click on accept button, or you can do some the formatting for this one to make it look better. Yeah, and then click on save button. Yeah, you still see the warning message. Yeah, because in our system we already apply the workflow. You know, I will explain the workflow later on in other video. So here I will go to the below, go to the workflow. Yeah. And then I will change this one directly from the draft to the approve. Set it up. Back to the top. Yeah. And you see the warning message has been disappeared. Okay. And the next step, I will publish the content. Yeah. I will talk about this publish later on in other video. So for now, let's go ahead to publish the content. Okay. And here, close this one. And I will open this one in other instance of the browser. Ready here. 
And you see here, this is the front end page of the website. Okay, because back to the website here, CMS. Okay, hang on. Back to the CMS. And you see here, we have the item path is simple. Here, copy this one, the home page and simple. Okay, cool. We have a simple item with hyphen here. Yeah. So here you see we can access into the new simple item directly here. This is the first simple item getting by chain V8. And then the below we have the take what is Rorem Ipsum here and some dummy take below. Great. Yeah. Of course, I will back to the CMS and we can modify this one. So the editor and I will duplicate this one by adding more item by adding more text here to make it look longer. Yeah. Okay. Accept, save. Yeah. And then publish again. In order to view any change in the website show, you have to publish it in a cycle CMS. I will talk about this one more detail later on in other lesson. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. And here, of course, you can also duplicate item or even clone this item to a new one. Yeah. So here, right click on it. We have the duplicated item. You can change this one in the second item here. So here is already copy the content from the simple item to the second items here. Okay. So here I can rename this one, right click on it and select the read name and okay here and change the title. Uh, what is the copy this one? Yeah, save it up. And you will see here, we still see the winning message because after we duplicate this item, show, it will be create a new item. Yeah, and the default state will be the wrap. I will change this one to approve. Save it up. And then back to the top. Yeah, the winning message would be disappear. Do the same thing with the previous one. You publish this item here. Yeah. And then done. You back to the website, refresh this one. And I can duplicate this one, open this to the new tab. And I will see like the second, second item. Yeah. So you see here. It will already navigate you to the second item. What is program if some? Yeah, below. And the first item. The first, first simple item getting by chain yet. Yeah, and below the content, the same thing for the second item. Okay, all right. So that's all for today's lesson. After you finish this video, you know how to create a new page or a new item in Sidecar CMS. And you also know how to add some content and title into a new item in the system. Yeah. After you have some changes in the item, you have to check the workflow. By default, we have the workflow state in the draft mode. You have to change it to approve the mode in order to publish the content to make it display on the web page. I hope this lesson will be helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.